we're out here in a thick greenhouse today working on some trying tying some limbs down this tree here is LSU Hoyer or who yet uh, this one here was tied down to be a center like that you see right in there where I cut it I'm moving it over here and tying it in kind of move that wherever probably could go a little lower do that a little different let's go ahead and tie it down here to this box I've had it pulled over for a while so I'm not worried about it uh, stretching it some more or breaking it because it's been pulled over for a minute all probably since last fall so, yeah, then move that block. That'll hold it a lot easier. One of the reasons I use these blocks, I can use these blocks better than anything. Number one, I have them. And number two, they're heavy enough that I don't have to worry about the uh, tree growing and moving it or whatever. Oh, pull it over here. I think I'll tie this one here like this. And tying them like I'm tying them here where they can expand without being girdled. Pretty important. And really, I might even tie that like that too it wants to really pull over there that'll be okay right there as it grows I'll pull it on that way next season I can bring it on like that or I can go ahead and do that now that way it grows that way that'd probably be a good idea just go on and do it now and not wait for next season Because this thing's going to grow a bunch. This limb here is going to be probably as big around as this is by the end of the year. It's going to grow a lot. So let's just tie it down here and bring it on this way. I go kind of high up there. In front of that joint, it won't break it. I don't really have to worry about nothing girdling because it can grow that way. Might want to watch that might put a little groove in it or something, but it should be okay. All right, let's go down here to the other end of this tree and see what we got. I may have too many branches. You will notice that my trees are all a little different. We're kind of trying to learn anyway here what styles work best. And, and it may be different for every tree, but we just want to know what styles really work best. Pull this over here. What styles, you know, get enough light, can still fruit heavily on each branch. We know there's going to be some varieties that don't like being pruned, you know. But that's what this is all about is we're trying to learn what it takes. All right, there's that tree. Let's go do another one. All right, this is yellow long neck. We're gonna tie it down. These just kind of need, they're kind of naturally growed out of the bottom as you can see here. So we're just gonna tie them down a little bit more and give them plenty of room to grow just like any of the rest of them. Block time. And these ain't been tied down this winter either. These, these were just, like I said, naturally like that. Try to pull it over here. It's still going to want to ride back.
Oh, my tire didn't work. All right. There's this one. Let's uh, go to the other side of the tree. All right. We're on the other side of the yellow long neck. Cut me a couple strings here. I don't think I needed but one, but we'll see. Yeah, I needed two. So this one's not quite so straightforward. Uh, I got three branches I've let grow out here. I'm going to pull, pull these two over a little bit. This is my nine foot marker right here. So I'm just going to pull it over here like this. Ain't no point in getting it so tight that it would girdle itself. I'm going to talk a lot about that, not wanting to girdle your trees. That's plenty of room. I'm just going to tie this one down to the concrete block here. on that but bring it on up for a little bit more let's do it like that that should be enough uh, something else need to go through here and do a little thinning I'm gonna clean all these little buds off the bottom here that's a big one now that should give them enough room that can come let's let's see here let's get rid of that one Get enough that gives it plenty of room to there's one we probably need to get rid of there's several on this one here probably that'd be enough room get rid of this little one here one underneath here we're going to peel off i don't like these underneath here at all they don't really do much but i could let that this looks like it's got just a little bit of maybe some maybe it had a little cold damage maybe it don't but I think I am going to go ahead and let this, or that, let both of these, really don't need them both. We'll let this one back here further going, then this one here can come on out too. And we'll see which one makes the best, does the best, and maybe we'll see what we save next year. Got two over here that don't need to be either. We'll pop that off of there. Don't want too many branches. All right, I believe I've got an extra concrete block in here I'll throw out. And we'll move on to the next tree. All right, this tree here is Constantine de Algier. It's a big honey pit. We're going to do some work on it. Uh, as you can see up here on this end, I've had it tied down all winter. We're going to retie it over here in a minute and then tie this one here down. But we're going to start on this end over here and tie these two down i don't know what i'm going to do with this thing we're going to let it grow this year and see what happens but we're going to this, this these are going to be our permanents so we're going to get them tied down we're going to get this one here first get that that'll start growing up this these all start turning and coming up this way all right get this one here tied down move it over there a little more last fall when we was in here Cut, trimming these things and I kind of tied them down it was kind of in a hurry beat the weather there it is don't need these underneath here just want to get rid of them while I'm here all right I don't think those are got enough room get rid of that one all right 
So now let's go try this other end. Well, I got this one untied here. You see, it didn't come up much. It's been tied all winter. Let's get it tied over here. I think I'll start off with it right in here. It'll be a good place to tie it. We're gonna need to do a little thinning too, maybe. Get rid of that underneath one there. Just get rid of that underneath one. There's enough there to do some tip cuttings on if a person wanted to do some tip cuttings. But that's what I got these over here in the middle for. I'm going to do some tip cuttings later. Alright, let's get this one over here done. Pull it down here. I think uh, that'll do. Let's start put it tight back here probably be the best. That way it can start growing up that way. There we go. I think we'll just let these grow and see how they do. They'll spread out once they get in the air. So there's the CDA. This next tree here we're going to look at real quick. And all we're going to do is look at it. It's, it's per perfect the form as far as I'm concerned on its own. But you can see here, I just let this tree grow and it wanted to grow low. But I just cut the tops off, kept the lower branches. I didn't really have to train on this thing much. It was it just naturally wanted to do this. Uh, this is uh, Super Jumbo DK. I've also noticed, you know, it is since it is similar to Red Shrim, Brazilian XP, Super Red Hybrid. They're not the same, but they're similar. You know, kind of like Mount Etnas. They're not all the same, but they are similar. Uh, it seems like one thing that all four of those varieties have in common is they will put on these low branches like this. They almost naturally want to be a spiade. That's kind of why I think this is a widely grown commercial variety in Asia. Uh, it just it really fits their, their growing style and you can prune it. It don't matter and it will come back and, and fruit. Uh, it hasn't started setting fruit yet. It usually grows about four or five weeks before it starts setting any fruit. Uh, so, well, there's our uh, low cord and the fig trees for today. I think I finally got them all done. Thanks for watching.